this week's Guinness Behind the Badge, we're with Gloucester Rugby. In a line out, there are three real main areas, the front, the middle and the back, that you throw to. Bearing in mind, you've got to look at what opposition's up against you, where your strengths and where your weaknesses are. There may be a weak jumper at the back that you want to exploit, there may be a weak jumper at the front, there may be a space at the front. So we will try to figure out where that is, and that will then be done by all the analysis in the week. We'll look at the teams, find out where they're weak, find out where they're strong, and that's where we want to hit the ball. Well, the advantages to throw to the back are massive. You know, if you ask any of the back line, they'll want the ball off the back. It gives you quick off the top ball, makes, makes the seven hard to defend, hard to get off the line. If you go from the front, you've got the whole forward pack coming at you. You may throw to the front or to the middle if you wanted to drive. Forwards love to drive. It's our opportunity to get into the opposition team. It's our opportunity to score. Um, you give a forward a driving line out on a halfway, we'll think we'll score. In reality, that doesn't normally happen. A penalty is normally the case and, you know, having a penalty on a halfway line, 10 metre line is exactly what we want. You cut down the line out to make it a little bit easier, the space is greater. There's a space between the 5 and the 15 metre line. If you've got seven players compressed in that one space, it makes it harder, it makes it harder to win the ball. If you've got four players compressed in that space, a lot more space for you to hit the ball, so a bit more easier to win the ball. I don't ever think enough training's gone into it. <laughs> if it was my way, it would be line-outs all the time, but no, a lot of training goes into line-outs, a lot of analysis, a lot of feedback, a lot of uh, reviewing, previewing, finding out where the space is. Um, the hookers are constantly training their throw, practicing that double top throw, that's what we keep going on about, it's a double top, trying to get top of the jump, top of the lift, but it's not only the hooker that does the job, it's not only the jumper that does the job, the lifter as well is crucial to that. If you don't get a right lift, you get a sloppy lift, missed lift, that can produce a two, three foot error in that jump. So it's key that the hooker gets his draw right, the jumper gets his draw, draw right, and the lifters get their draw right. And all together, if you get everything working perfectly, you'll win the ball. I can go on all day.